take two. I got to the very end of reading chapter 15 in the video and it just went out. My phone, it just, my phone, I don't know, it just stopped and it went back to the uh, app screens. So <laughs> this is going to be my second time recording this. I don't know where the video went, but anyway, um, this is Michelle with Michelle uh, with Sweet Home Heaven. And um, before I get started, like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a video. And as always, comments are greatly appreciated. And over on my other channel, uh, Michelle Lokerson Vlog, like, share, and subscribe over there as well and leave a comment and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a video. And comments are greatly appreciated. Um, also, over there I read a devotional each day I try <clears throat> and with scripture references and then also a um, opinion commentary on an array of different topics. And this channel, oh, and the devotional there I'm reading is Jesus Calling. Um, and it, the scripture references is out of my New King James Version Modern Life Study Bible. <clears throat> this channel, I read a chapter a day from my New King James Version Modern Life Study Bible. And we currently are in, um, today's reading is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. So, <clears throat> if that piques your interest, I, I hope you will join us on the other channel. And share this with your friends and family. Alright, so we're going to do this again. Take two, no problem. The risen Christ fates reality moreover brethren i declare to you god i de declare to you the gospel which i preached to you which also you received and in which you stand by which also you are saved in in you in if you hold fast the word which i preached to you unless you believed in vain for I deliver to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, and that he was seen by Caiaphas, C-E-P-H-A-S, then by the twelve. After that, he was seen by over five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain to the present, but some have fallen asleep. After that, he was seen by James than by all the apostles. Then last of all, he was seen by me also as by one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles whom, who, who, am not, who am not worthy to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am and his grace toward me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Than they all Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. <clears throat> Therefore, whether it was I or they, so we preach and so we believe. <clears throat> now, if Christ was preached that he has been raised from the dead, how do some among you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? <clears throat> but if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty and your faith is also empty. Yes, and we are found false witnesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he did not raise up, if in fact the dead do not rise. For if the dead do not rise, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, your faith is futile, you are still in your sins. Then also those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men the most pitiable, the last enemy destroyed. But now Christ is risen from the dead and has become the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. But each one in his own order, Christ the first fruits after those who are Christ, Christ at his coming. Then comes the end when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that he will just, that will just be destroyed is death. For he has put all things under his feet. But when he says all things are put under him, under him, it is evident that he who put all things under him is accepted. 
Now, when all things are made subject to him, then the Son himself will also be subject to him who put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Effects of denying the resurrection. Otherwise, what will we do who are baptized for the dead? If the dead do not rise at all, why then are they baptized for the dead? And why do we stand in jeopardy every hour? I affirm by the boasting in you, which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, I die daily. If in the manner of men I have fought with beasts as at Ephesus, what advantage is it to me? If the dead do not rise, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Let me read that again. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Awake to righteousness and do not sin, for some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. A glorious body. And what he's saying there is, you know, um, we are to encourage those who do not know the Lord. To the best of our ability, we are, we are to... Um, encourage them and and educate them on the uh the knowledge of god <clears throat> a glorious body but someone will say how are the dead raised up and with what body do they come foolish no, foolish one what you sow is not made alive unless it dies and what you sow you do not sow that body that shall be but mere grain perhaps wheat or some other grain but god gives it a body as he pleases, and to each seed its own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of animals, another of fish, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies, terrestrial bodies, but the glory of the celestial is the one, is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars, stars, for one star differs from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. The body is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last, Adam, became a living, giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the, but the natural. And afterward, the spiritual. The first man was the, of the earth, made of dust. The second man is, a, is the Lord from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And as is the heavenly man, so also... So, so also are those who are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of, heavenly, of the heavenly man. Our final victory. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. We shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and for this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall, we, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. It's two, two focus sections. First one is the end of authority. Uh, it deals with 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 24. 
Paul asserted that someday all authority, rule, and power will end. Peter made a similar statement when he asked what kind of people we should be in light of the end of the present time. No matter how hard we have worked to acquire power, it will eventually fade away. In the meantime, we are to hold authority lightly and use it wisely to further God's purpose. Amen. And this one deals with 1 Corinthians 15, verse 42. Ancient burial practices. Burial practices in Corinth and the other cities of the Roman Empire are largely a function of status. If the deceased was a member of the upper class, preparing the body was delegated to professional undertakers who usually dressed the body in a toga adorned with bandage and other signs of a person's accomplishments and offices. Professional mourners and mu musicians led a funeral procession to the burial site. Actors might uh, follow a cortege, a C-O-R-T-E-G-E, -E, wearing masks depicting the family's ancestors. The body was either cremated or buried. Either way, the rich often buried their dead in elaborate tombs. Some formed cooperatives that held hundreds of urns. The poor laid their dead to rest in common, often unmarked graves. Those who lived in, the near, lived in or near Rome might use the catacombs, a maze of underground tunnels outside the city. In the late first century, Christians were banned from regular cemeteries, so they resorted to the catacombs for their funerals. As persecution increased, some fled there to survive. The Jews laid their dead either in a shallow grave covered with stones or in a cave or tomb. <laughs> My dog's snoring. <laughs> That's Romeo snoring. The Jews laid their uh, dead laid their dead either in a shallow grave covered with stones or in a cave or tomb cut out of stone and secured by a circular sl circular slab rolled and sealed over the entrance. Graves were often marked with a large upright stone. The hot climate of Palestine caused a dead body to decay rapidly, so burial usually occurred within a few hours of death and always within 24 hours. The Jews did not follow the Greek custom of cremation except in emergencies, nor did they generally use coffins. Although they had historical ties to Egypt, they did not embalm their dead like the Egyptians, who have invented mummification thousands of years before to learn more about the jews burial customs uh, you can read john chapter 12 verses 1 through 8 okay guys <clears throat> i'm going to end this with the lord's prayer in this manner therefore pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forget our de forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I hope everybody has a blessed day. Um, I'm going to be, probably be door dashing here in just a little bit. But anyway, guys, I love y'all. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. And leave a comment. Also on my other channel, like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and uh, leave a comment. Uh, Michelle Lokerson Vlog. All right, guys. Love y'all. Bye-bye.